One of my biggest fears of today was that I might drop something down myself at dinner, and I haven't. <laughs> Seven days ago, I did the honourable task of asking Chloe to marry me. The temptation of taking a sneak peek at this lovely dress did cross my mind, but I'm glad I didn't, as seeing you down the aisle today was something I'll truly never forget. She's never looked more stunning than today, but on the day she was born, she was also very beautiful. And the midwife handed her to me and told me she was a baby girl. And one of the first thoughts that came into my head was, oh, how lovely, I'll be the mother of the bride one day. I know it was a bit of a random thought, but it gives you a sense of how long I've been waiting for this day to come. <laughs> Thank you to Chloe and Gary for making the mother of the bride dream come true. I've waited all of Chloe's lifetime for this day. <laughs> That's 10,342 days, 1,477 weeks, or 339 months. And really, I can't tell you how wonderful it feels to be here today, and I hope it does to you too. So when people ask how me and Chloe got together, I used to say from internet dating, which is true to a certain degree, but more specifically, it was a certain mobile phone app that some may say has a dark cloud hovering over it. <laughs> now for those who aren't familiar, the name of the game is basically to swipe, to swipe right on the profiles and left to reject. If any of you have been in a car whilst Chloe gave directions, I think you'd agree with me that left de definitely isn't left, and right isn't always right. <laughs> so it had crossed my mind if that Chloe was supposed to take that Tinder swipe. <laughs> we have been on a few adventures over the years, but today we start the biggest one in, our, in marriage. I have never met anyone so kind, thoughtful and selfless as you are, Chloe. You have made me a better person. I feel so lucky to be able to call you my wife and I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. The only thing I regret is not meeting you earlier in life and spending more time with you. You mean the world to me and I promise to love you always and I hope to make you proud. You're my best friend and my soulmate. For the final time, can we please stand to Chloe. So from an early age, Gary's always had to have the best of everything, from trainers to cars to clothes. It was like Devil Wears Prada being friends with Gary. <laughs> but judging from the way Chloe looks today, Gary's not lost that desire to have the best of everything. Gary is such an amazing person whose strength for adversity should truly be admired. Gary has battled through health issues for the majority of his life. Many of you will not know that, and that's because Gary has incredible determination to enjoy life, and he doesn't let anything get in his way. So when people talk of being a strong personality, this evokes the notion of being the loudest person in the room, which Gary will admit he is not. But when I think of a strong personality, it's more of a person who overcomes all the obstacles that life throws at them and still be an amazing person. And this is exactly what Gary is.